heartbreaking scene at the Montague Beach fishing ramp. Family members were in disbelief as the reality that the two divers had died hit home. As the hearses attempted to leave, family members banged on the hood, attempted to open the doors, and some even threw themselves in the way to prevent the cars from leaving. <laughs> Press liaison officer Superintendent Audley Peters says the captain of the boat is working with police and provided brief information of what led to their tragic deaths today. Our initial investigations into this matter suggest that a crew of three left on a tripping sh trip, fishing trip this morning around 9 a.m. and following their expedition on a particular drop, they would have caught a number of fish and came up onto the boat. As they were going to their next drop, one of the divers collapsed on board the boat. The captain then stopped the vessel and began to render first aid. According to Peters, the captain said moments after the first diver displayed signs of distress, the second diver attempted to prevent himself from experiencing a similar fate. However, that attempt failed. And the second diver realized that his uh, colleague might have been suffering from what is known as the vents. He too then jumped overboard in an attempt to decompress his body. While the captain was rendering first aid to the first victim, he noticed that the second diver while overboard was floating. So he then stopped his assistance and retrieved that diver from the water and attempted to render first aid. However, he had to bring both victims to the dock here on Montague. According to Peters, the deaths have yet to be classified, but police will continue to work with the boat captain throughout their investigations. 28-year-old Bram Charlton appeared before Magistrate Joanne Ferguson Pratt on four charges, including last week's double shooting in Victoria Gardens. Prosecutors allege that Charlton is responsible for the August 14th killing of Immigration Officer Lanisha Ambrister and the attempted murder of Drazen Dean. According to police, the victims were in a black Toyota Paso last Saturday when they were stopped at an intersection of Victoria Boulevard and Meadow Street by the occupants of a gray Jeep, who opened fire on them killing on Brister and wounding Dean. Charlton is also charged in connection with the August 9th shooting death of Dino Brown on Marshall Road and the attempted murder of Dennis Bowles. According to police, two men were standing outside a home off Marshall Road when a dark-colored jeep pulled through the corner and two men exited. One of the gunmen was armed with a handgun while the other had a rifle. They allegedly shot at the men, killing one of them and seriously injuring the other. Charlton's co-accused Brandon Pinder recently appeared before the chief magistrate. Charlton was not required to enter a plea and will return to court on December 6 for the presentation of a voluntary bill of indictment. He was remanded to the Bahamas Department of Corrections.